Hi there. When designing complex models in FreeCAD, you often have the need to select multiple parts in your project and translate them to a different location in your model. This video shows you how to do that. I am in the part workbench. Let's create a simple part, a cube. Let's zoom out, make it smaller. Let me translate that on the screen. I'm going to rotate it a little bit so you can see different sides of this cube. Let me translate this cube. This is just one part. We know how to translate one part. Uh, to do that, you would right click the cube in the model view and then click on transform, which will give you the different axes around the cube. And I can translate this cube, let's say, along the X axis like so. And then click OK. Now let's create another cube. All right, now we have two cubes. Now the question is, how do I translate the two cubes at the same time together? We can't do, we cannot select the two cubes and then right click and transform because FreeCAD does not provide that capability. You see, if I right select the two cubes and right click on them, I do not see the transform option. In order to translate these two cubes together, I need to use a different feature. To do that, I would uh, select the two cubes by pressing my control key and left clicking the mouse. And then I would go to edit and then placement. That brings up a menu for me to move these two cubes along the different axes. First, I need to cl click apply incremental change, which will apply the translations that I provide in these boxes incrementally. That is relative to the current position. So now that, now that I have clicked apply incremental change, I can change any of these values to translate these cubes. For example, if I want to translate them along the X axis, I would simply increment the X values like so, or decrement the X values like so. OK. All right. And then you click OK. And then now translated. This is extremely useful when designing complex projects when you want to move more than one part at a time. It is, for example, let's say I want to create copies of these two cubes in a different part of my model. To do so, I would select the two cubes and then control C and then control V, which will create copies of the cubes in the same locations as these cubes. Now, if I would highlight the copies I just made, I don't see them because they're in the same position as the cubes they are copied from. But I do see the corners highlighted with green. So I have selected the copies. Now, if I go to Edit, Placement, and then apply incremental change and then I can translate the copies along the y-axis see now I have four cubes and I click OK this can tremendously speed up the model creation process I hope this video was helpful please subscribe and like for more videos like this bye now